What's up, world? Noah here. I've got my reading glasses on today because I'm here to review a book. Actually, that was a lie. I'm, I'm nearsighted, uh, so I don't need glasses to read. Uh, I'm sorry, I lied to you. I feel bad about that, but this is called The Porn Myth. It's a new book about pornography and its effect on individuals and society. It's by my friend, Matt Frad. And I'm not just reviewing it because he's my friend, but because I think it's an important book that a lot of you will probably enjoy. A lot of the books out there about pornography and pornography addiction and the negative effects of porn, including my own book, are really more about more geared toward people who are recovering themselves and who need some guidance and some understanding in that process, in that journey. But this book is something different entirely. It does include some really good advice for recovering addicts and their partners, especially in the last third. But the way this is structured is it's 24 chapters or myths about pornography and its role in society and how it affects us in our relationships. And Matt Frad goes into each one of these in depth, explores why people believe this, what's the basis for this myth, and then debunks it, drawing evidence from research over the last 30 years, from other texts, from cutting edge neuroscience, and he cites all these meticulously. I'm a little envious of the size of his appendix in this book. It's much bigger than my own modest appendix in mine. <laughs> so much resources in the back for further reading and for you critical readers to check all the sources and delve more deeply into this. But what this book does is really provide a strong foundation for thinking about porn on a bigger level than just how it's impacted you personally. I know that for myself, I wasn't really able to think about that or recognize that porn might have negative societal consequences when I was using porn, because if I recognize that, then I'd have to confront my own usage and how it might not be healthy for me. And until I had my light bulb moment with Gary Wilson's TED Talk, The Great Porn Experiment, I didn't really want to face that because I relied on porn. I was addicted to it. I relied on it for emotional, uh, like an emotional salve. And it wasn't until I decided to quit porn and left it behind that I was able to start recognizing porn's impact on society and how it's not healthy for many of the people who create it in addition to the people who consume it. So this book explores that on a wider scale. And if you are a person who has recently quit pornography and you want to understand better what this thing is that hooked you and kept you addicted for so long or took away your ability to enjoy satisfying romantic and sexual connections, then this is a great book for you. And it's, it treads ground that a lot of other books about pornography I have not seen approach. So it's well worth your time. Uh, go check it out. It's on Amazon.com. And I'm sure it's on Matt's own website as well, which I will in post put before you, put before your faces. It's here. I might put it up here or maybe across my chest. I'm not sure, uh, but go check it out. Thanks in part to my Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. I love you all and thank you so much for believing in me. If you'd like to do the same, head on over to my Patreon page and join me for my next Patreon live stream in two weeks.